Hello everyone, Cunning Tool Designer here. Most of the audio in this video isn't all that great, so I decided to do a little narr over, uh, narration over the, the video. Here I'm talking about uh, the front of the shop before we started working on it. And of course here I'm showing you the uh, brick molding where the original garage door was at and how we framed it in and then covered it with some uh, exterior sheeting. What we're going to do is we're going to get some uh, birch plywood and cut it to fit inside this to cover up the sheeting and give us a smooth surface so that we can paint it. And then we're also going to work on uh, putting in some panels using some dimensional lever, lumber, uh, 3 quarter by 8 uh, dimensional lumber uh, that we're going to cut up and uh, make three separate panels and then machine in some um, V carving designs into it on the CNC router and from there we'll mount everything up and trim it off with some cove molding. So uh, stay tuned as we go through this and you can see step by step this is part one of three parts and we're going to start at the very beginning and, and go on through. Here I'm starting to cut up the plywood. Cutting off the top of the sheet first to get it to length. Now I'm cutting it lengthwise to get each individual sheet. Two, one for each side of the doors. First thing I did was put some glue on the sheeting. the panel in place. And I believe I was using some uh, inch and a half brad nails. Just enough to get through the uh, sheeting that we had on the inside. And I'm going around the outside so I don't have any in the middle. Those will be covered up by the cold molding. side. Same thing. Okay, after two coats of primer. Here I'm getting ready to, to cut off the individual panels. Uh, each of these boards are eight feet. I did not need all of it, but I couldn't get uh, a long enough board to get out all the pieces. So I got two eight footers. So I got ten and three quarter piece at the top and then two two footers uh, in the middle and one at the bottom of the framing. And here I'm just trimming them to size. Here I'm using 
using the belt sander just to clean up the saw marks in the bottom so I have a fairly smooth surface. Setting up one of the two foot uh, panels for machining in the V-carve. Sorry about that. Couldn't help but throw a little bit of uh, special effects in here. This is speeded up. And here is one of the finished two foot panels, completely V carved, just like you saw. Now I'm going to do one of the small ones from a different perspective. is the smallest panel. It's the same pattern, just shrunk down to fit the size of the panel. And the tedious task of sanding down all the V-carve area so we have a good surface to paint. vertical lines to line up the center and the sides of each panel. Now measuring off the bottom location of each panel. I'm going to line each panel up to the marks and then I'm going to use, I believe they were two and a half inch brads or two inch brads and these are just to tack them in place. I'll show you how I further attach them in video number two.
That's the end of part one. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for part two. And please subscribe.